Good morning, Zio here. And uh, today, I'm not really sure where to start. I mean, wow. I, I've got questions with no answers. Uh, <laughs> I've got thoughts. And um, I'm not really sure what the heck is going on, but this is a thing that's going on. It's happening. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so now. Like the video, all that jazz, and uh, I guess let's get into it, shall we? Anyway, so Naughty Dog has had an issue. What's a Naughty Dog, you ask? Well, it's a gaming company, of course. Uh, they handled The Last of Us and The Last of Us Part 2, which, uh, if I remember correctly, has been delayed indefinitely at this point in time. Um, but if you hadn't heard the news, and by the way, I am not going to spoil anything. Not on purpose, anyway. I've not read any spoilers. I've not looked at any spoilers. I have avoided the spoilers. So I won't accidentally say them, you know, in here or comment on them or anything like this. Now, do I care for The Last of Us Part 2? No. I I'm just going to go ahead and put it out there. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> it is not my kind of game, but I understand that there are people out there who do like that game, um, who, who enjoy The Last of Us, and uh, they don't want to be spoiled on what happens next, which is fine and understandable. That's okay. I know I may rag on things like The Last of Us and and uh, uh, RuinScape and other games out there occasionally or whatnot, but it doesn't mean I hate them or anything. It's all in good fun. But, uh, you know, if you like this game, if you're really, really waiting for The Last of Us Part 2, I suggest you stay away from the internet for a bit uh, <laughs> until everything just sort of dies down. Just don't come back. Um, yeah, that's probably best. Or, of course, you know, don't follow anything that's talking about The Last of Us Part 2. I'm not sure why it's so hard sometimes for people to avoid certain spoilers. It, anyway, never mind. Um, it, it's everywhere. It's on the Facebooks. It's on the YouTubes. It's on the, the, the Twitters, the Twatters, the the other things, uh, the gabs, the bit shoots, all that stuff. It's, it's going to be everywhere, right? Everyone's talking about it. It's it's out there. It's in the wild because this thing has happened. Anyway, there's a message from Naughty Dog I feel that we should go over real quick. But uh, a message from the studio. We know the last few days have been incredibly difficult for you. We feel the same. It's disappointing to see the release and sharing of pre-released footage from development. Do your best to avoid spoilers. We ask that you don't spoil anything for others. The Last of Us Part 2, it will be in your hands soon. No matter what you see and hear, the final experience will be worth it. Naughty Dog. Now, how much of that is true? I don't know. Uh, I mean, granted, it's out there. How much of the game is actually done is, a, is one of the questions I want to know. Um, because it wasn't that long ago, the game was pretty much put into limbo indefinitely, right? Uh, the Last of Us Part Two was definitely put into limbo indefinitely and was was not going anywhere because of the you know, the coof, uh, among other things. And uh, you know, I got nothing. I don't know. Anyway, somebody really, really got ticked off and decided that they are going to leak this entire thing. Which uh, I'd hate to be that person. <laughs> Just saying, if they know who it is and they have proof of who who leaked all of this footage, because apparently, yo, know, a lot of these scenes and stuff, they're done, right? The ending of the game is apparently out there. Makes me wonder if most of the game is pretty much done at that point. Uh, so I'm not sure why it's been put in a sort of an indefinite hold at this point in time when other companies are working from home at be it slower um, they they do have a lot of stuff that they can do from home especially when they're in the testing phase and bug fixing phase and and things like that you know other companies are in the middle of doing that uh i think world of warcraft 
uh, with the Blizzard folks are currently doing a lot of work at home stuff where they're doing things like that. They also, of course, have their game in alpha right now. So, you know, you've got players at home also testing things and stuff. Yeah, you know, so it wouldn't be too hard for them to be finishing this game up at home why it was put on a, a definite hold, you know, for the foreseeable future. I'm not 100% sure on that. Never could figure it out. When I saw that, you know, floating around everywhere that Naughty Dog is just putting it on hold, I'm like, why? What's, what's the point? Can you not give us a time frame? You know, a couple of months out or something? Extend it from wherever it was originally? Of course, then again, I don't think it had an, a street date yet anyway, but it sort of somewhat shows, like, I guess, the time frame between how games and certain things work, I guess, uh, if that makes sense. Like, the game could be done for a year, and we don't hear about it or we don't even have a release date for it or whatnot for like the next two or three years for some reason because that's just how they decide to do it. You know, because uh, we talked about that when uh, Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, the campaign came out that apparently reportedly, you know, the game had been done for years and was just sort of sitting there. Didn't have a multiplayer component or anything like that, but it was just sitting there doing nothing until they decided, oh, you know, now's a good time to release this digitally and decided to release it, which, you know, makes me less sympathetic to certain things like when people are complaining about crunch. Uh, okay, we're going to go into it for a second. We talked about this a while back, you know, different forms of crunch from different industries and stuff like that. And, um, you know, work ethics among other things that all contribute to why crunch might be a thing, right? And when it comes to Naughty Dog, usually when the word crunch comes into play, apparently they're really bad at it. Uh, according to a lot of sources, they are horrendous when it comes to crunch. They have horrendous crunch time and are like constantly crunching. Like, um, I think talking about just The Last of Us 2 or part two, you know, it, it's been a constant crunch for the employees, but at the same time, it's not because, you know, you've got employees talking about how certain pl employees just don't have that problem. They, they come in and do things normally and leave and stuff. And, you know, that's where we talked about worth ethics and, you know, the amount of work that may be on somebody and stuff versus other people, how, how crunch could be avoided and other things. Um, you know, so if that, if it's really as horrendous, you know, as they say, does it have to be? I guess that's the question that I'm going at. You know, if this game is near completion to where people are saying, hey, you need to release the digital version today. And I'm sitting here thinking, do, do they have the digital version? Can they do that? Is that a thing that they can do in the near future? Considering they just pushed it back indefinitely and said it's not coming out anytime soon. If they can just turn around and within a couple of weeks drop a digital version, you know, purely the digital version or whatever on the PlayStation Store and things, and wherever else it's it's going to be, because I can't remember if that's an exclusive or not. I think it was. I don't remember. Anyway, um, you know, you can correct me down in the comments, of course. You can let me know what, what it is, because I'm going to forget the next time I reference it anyway. <laughs> Sorry. But, uh, no, seriously, like, if that's the case, then what's the point to any of the crunch to begin with, right? If the game is done, and then you were planning on letting it be done for like a year or two before even releasing the game into the wild, you know, I, I have no sympathy anymore for the idea of crunch and stuff when... When people are apparently signing up for this particular thing, and they know it's going to be a thing, right? Uh, that kind of throws out my sympathy for for that sort of thing out the window at that point in time. Um, you know, especially when you come out and say that a game is going to be delayed indefinitely. There's no no idea when it's going to actually come out, and then turn around and somebody leaks every you know or major spoiler or major um, 
portion of of the game and then people are scrambling going oh we we should probably release this digitally or something so if it does release digitally that's that's going to be my thoughts on that entire thing but apparently it was a disgruntled employee uh i'm gonna it, end on that i guess but uh the entire ending of the last of us part two has leaked online sony has quickly removed the video on youtube but it reportedly leaked from a disgruntled employee Again, I have thoughts and feelings about things like that. Um, anyway, we won't go into it here. Why was this uh, employee this ticked off? Over a payment dispute with the Naughty Dog, which is something I would like to know more of. What kind of payment dispute would there have been for somebody to leak so much of this game out into the wild? And apparently when they didn't get what they wanted, well, they, they went followed through with whatever their uh, Whatever it was that their thing was right uh, they, they just followed through with it. So uh, be careful out there on the internet uh, There there are spoilers abound if the game doesn't bother you that it's spoiled or whatnot then fine Go go seek them out. You know, see what what the big deal is if you do on the other hand be careful <laughs> Just sort of don't look at anything that has spoiler in it or The Last of Us Part Two or anything like that. And, and I wish you the best of luck avoiding all that stuff because I won't be spoiling it for you. Um, but yeah, anyway, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Uh, and I, I guess I'll talk to y'all later. See ya. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, smash that like button, and always subscribe for more. And of course, there are other videos floating around somewhere on the screen, so click one of those and see if you can find something that uh, suits your fancy. Till then, I'll see you later. Bye.